Hello guys, I'm Hura, and this is my Let's Play video of Europa Unicellis 4, where we're playing as England. Now in the last video we got into a... We were in a, we were in a war with France, once again. But uh, I'd kind of underestimated uh, me, uh, their technology. They were, they were quite ahead of us in technology, and that just, just meant that uh, we just got beat once again. And uh, we had to to kind of peace out and uh, give them all their cores back, so that sucked, but I uh, guess we'll just have to learn from our mistakes and try to to get on with our lives. Um, we got a new Queen, Jane the First of Lancaster, uh, a bit better than uh, our last uh, king, and uh, our, cl uh, our AI is pretty good, 3 to 3 is good. Uh, I'm holding on for a bit with the diplomatic technology, because um, we don't really need embassies, we don't have the money to build it anyway, uh, and we might as well try to uh, get a bit more uh, neighbor bonus on it. Um, we, uh, we were on a mission last time to, um, to improve relations with uh, Burgundy, but uh, I had to drop it because it was close to impossible. Um, Yeah, so now we're just waiting for, for the ability to get a new mission. So we're kind of kind of in the middle of of it right now, with no clear aim. Uh, we started the the integration of of Scotland. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to do something once that finishes. Uh, I think at that point we should probably try to to get some claims on, on Norway, uh, so we can maybe get get a hold of Iceland and uh, get a better uh, harbor for for when we need uh, get, need to get across here in the colonization game. That would be pretty nice. Get a good head start over. Uh, Spain and Portugal in the in the northern northern part of the Americas. Oh, and our navy navy is still suffering. With our t uh, attention shifting further from the navy to the army, some of our master shipwrights have decided to seek employment elsewhere. Uh, this has caused our shipwrights to suffer. I think we got that this last time too. So uh, that's uh, a lot of diplomatic power out the window. I wonder why these, these provinces have such a high reward risk. Oh, it's because the war exhausted, so that, that will go away soon. Hopefully. We can build some buildings, but uh, we only have docks and marketplaces. Uh, maybe we should build down here just to get some extra trade power in this trade node. But we don't really need them uh, in England, because as, as you maybe remember, we kind of control this whole uh, trade zone anyway, so it doesn't really help us to get extra trade power. But down here we could use it. Seems it will take some time before we got to get the annex. Eight years still. Maybe we could, uh, could build up to go to war with Burgundy. They have a somewhat manageable army. We did lose uh, 16,000 men in the war in France, so that's also pretty bad, but we are making good money, so we can can get them back. Let's just check what kind of technology they, they have. Military level 6, so we, we definitely need to catch that up. Um, 
I think we should hold on uh, with the next idea. Um, we don't really... Uh, fire is really nice later in the game when uh, when we actually get some uh, some firearms, but... Uh, oh, and the war, I declared war in France. Maybe we should get out of this... Uh, this coalition. <laughs> we don't really want to fight France again. Um, at least not until we get a... Uh, Get some more military technology. Oh, and we need to repay that loan. I almost forgot. Let's do that. No reason to pay interest on that. And we have a free military slot. Uh, we have a claim down in France that we <laughs> that we made just before the war. Now it's kind of useless. Uh, it will probably, if it, it will probably actually cost us. Uh, usually when you have claims, uh, it generates uh, events that uh, that costs uh, cost stability and some such things. So having claims that are, you're not using uh, can can get uh, can be quite dangerous. Uh, not dangerous, but it, but it will cost you. Let's build a dock down here. It's not much. It's not much trade power, but it's nice to have somewhere where we can repair quickly. I'll probably also build one up here. Oh, I already did. So right right now, uh, a whole lot of not much. How are we doing? How don't have a trade? We actually the dominating power here. Transferring almost two, two twen uh, 23 gold up here. So we are picking up a lot. Some uh, some guys trying to steal our money here. That's not good. Maybe we should actually get some more trade power up here. We don't lo want people taking our hard-earned money. So that's our... Uh, I think when uh, when the bonus neighbor bonus gets to ten percent, I'll buy this. Um, maybe we should get a better military guy. Oh, he has a couple of level twos. And he as well. Grand export licenses. When the crown could not or would not pay cash to the nobles, they would instead grant them privilege, privileges to collect special revenues from which they could make a healthy profit. So we get either, either grant uh, privileges, we will lose uh, legitimacy, but get extra taxes, or we can uh, gain legitimacy, and uh, and Armagnac will uh, will get mad at us, but uh, we really need the legitimacy. See, being below 50 is, uh, is bad. It gives extra reward risk and um, less tolerance, which gives even more uh, reward risk, and it, it gives better, worse dramatic reputation. So let's get some extra legitimacy. We don't really care about our relationships to Armagnac. So now, now we are above 50, we actually get bonuses, less reward risk, and more tolerance. So that's nice. That's the danger of uh, of having no air. You risk getting a an all unlawful claim. So uh, usually you start at at about twenty legitimacy if that happens. So that could be really bad, especially if you if you uh, get do it in in the middle of a war. You will get really really high reward risk. Soon we'll be able to go to uh, military uh, administrative technology five. Uh, we want to get that so we can start building some constables and temples. That really helps with the income, and uh, income can be used for for better advisors. So it can actually uh, it can translate directly into more uh, monarch points. Let's stop paying our army. More morale, nice. But we should hire some. I, I don't want to wait off for this guy, but let's get some. Uh, let's get some better relations over time. Get a, a little extra diplomatic power. I 
Is there any of these that we can get? No, it doesn't seem like it. But we can uh, buy an idea now. But we want to wait after that. We need, uh, really need to update our military uh, at least one, uh, one time, just to uh, get these, uh, these the next level of uh, military. Uh, it really helps out uh, getting this uh, modifier in the shock phase. Makes a big difference. Oh, and we have diplomatic technology. Even with a nice 10% discount. Let's get that. And seems like I can also get this. Nice. Oh, and let's get this too. Huge technology booth there. Um, so yeah, uh, when we get to this level 7, I think that um, we should probably uh, try to uh, to look towards getting uh, the quest for the new world. Uh, I think we will have uh, plenty of reach once we get um, get up to level 3. Uh, the, the third idea on this exploration, we get even uh, a 50% extra colonial range. So I think we, we might be able to bridge this gap. Um, I'm not sure if we can do it just from island here, but uh, hopefully we can get up to uh, and take uh, take uh, Iceland here, then we, it will make it uh, much easier for us. But uh, we need to uh, d uh, decide which new unit we we are gonna integrate into our army. We can either get longbows, um, which is kind of a traditional English unit, um, or we can get men at arms. Uh, Longbows have better shock in uh, in attack. That's uh, the yellow ones are attack, and the green are a defense. And uh, using uh, longbows will get extra damage in the attack, but they have less morale in defense. But uh, just because we're England, I think I'm gonna go with the longbow. My computer is kind of kind of laggy there. And let's build uh, some constables. Oh, we don't have any uh, any administrative power. All the mil buildings cost 10 power uh, of their their corresponding type. So we want to keep that in mind also. The game is really lagging. Uh, I think uh, I'm gonna end this video and try and see what's uh, wrong. Uh, I'll catch you in the next video.